Sorry, I had to unsend some messages because uh, I have my uh, Buffalo Bills podcast going. Go Bills. Let me start off by saying I know nothing about hereditary spherocytosis. I know uh, other cytoses um, and how they work, but uh, that particular one, no. But it doesn't matter if I know... um, it doesn't matter if I know. Yeah, I know that's what that was. That's me listening to the radio. And I got like three phones and I thought it was on another phone, but it's on the main phone. And Instagram feels the need to pick up what you're listening to. Now, getting back to the tour. Um, okay, so there's lots of uh, um, stones in the gallbladder. That is uh, normal. Well, not normal, but normal when you have these kind of acid buildups, right? But the thing is, you could do, he could do uh, three, well, he's young, so how old is he? I think he's like, which one, your oldest son, I'm guessing? He looks about, what, 12, 13, 14, I'm not sure. But he's old enough to do a, uh, like, 10-day fast, and that will allow him to deplete those stones without having to get rid of the gallbladder. Like, the fact that they're even doing that, why wouldn't they try to break those stones up first with something very acid that I wouldn't stand by? Nonetheless, I'd rather stand by that than removing his fucking gallbladder at what? Whatever age he is. It's her age here. I don't care if it's you, you know? Actually, it's worse. No, I don't even know. You don't, you're running around without your uh, organs? It's just never a good idea, right, sis? Especially since he got his whole life ahead of him. Okay, so let's just call him 14 for now, okay? Let's say that they relieve, uh, remove his gallbladder. He's got to follow a special diet. A 14-year-old who's never had fucking whiskey or... Well, I hope he's never had whiskey. Uh, you know, like, uh, unfortunately, done some of the crazy, stupid shit that we've done. You know? I was his own kid. He can't do any of that without a gallbladder. I'm not saying get into it and sign him up for it, but, like, yo, know, kids need to experiment. Think of how much of a pariah he'd be to his friends if he can't eat fucking hamburgers at 14 17 okay so this goes into the uh psyche now right it's not just that his gallbladder is gone it's that the kids in nowadays in society want to fucking turn up or whatever and you need a gallbladder for that and also if you don't have a gallbladder and you can't turn up not only can you not turn up and you're not cool but you're not cool also because you don't have a fucking gallbladder so i say this to say these are the things that they don't ever that some people don't uh, realize or they don't ever tell you, right? You can't just, like, uh, cut the man's life short at 17, man. I understand. I'm 40, you know what I mean? I've been through fucking whatever, uh, putting heroin needles in my arm or accidentally fucking snorting some cocaine with fentanyl in six times. But, like, come on, man. He's 17. He hasn't even lived yet. Never Taking shit yet. away from him at fucking 17? This is their fucking plan now? This is how we uh, advance to... I understand that disease isn't just an old person's disease anymore because the way we're eating, but, like, yo, you're taking kids' gallbladder out as the first option? Come on. And I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the fucking doctor. Like, there's got to be a fucking easier way. Even let him live with... What happened to letting him live to, or until 21 and make letting him be an adult? Like, you can't be a fucking transgender at 17, or maybe you can now, but... But you can fucking take your gallbladder out? Like, what? What type of sense that make? You can't, I mean, you know what I mean, like, as a transgender. Like, I'm not talking full switch. Yeah, okay, wait till 21. But, like, what, they can't go and start dosing with the meds to become, to have tits or whatever they do. I don't really know. I'll tell you the truth. But uh, other than that, he can take his gallbladder out? Like, are they, sell, are they selling the gallbladder short? Or do they really believe this, that, like, that's the option? I mean, I'm sure it'll provide him, no, it's not going to, it's not going to, like, you have to fix the problem, because the problem is, kidneys get uh, stones, right? Liver gets cirrhosis, you got to really get this thing under control and wraps holistically, because all it's telling me right now, <laughs> Bless your heart. I'm really just being real, though. I'm telling you. Like, I know what you mean, but I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> it is kind of funny when I think about it. Um, 
but the, the root of the is the root of this is not funny. You know what I mean? And like the fact that some doctor would even uh, uh, suggest that for a seventeen year old. Okay, yeah, I understand. I'm twenty five. Come take my soul, man. But fucking, I ain't even had like. They might come up with some fucking shit tomorrow that, like, oh, all you need is a gallbladder and you can fuck for 54 hours, and now his girlfriend's leaving him because he can't fuck for 54 hours. Why? Not because he doesn't have the money or fucking the means. Because he got no fucking gallbladder. And the way that they're moving, that very well could be the case and option, right? I mean, I would never put some shit in there. I fucking, you know, I'm CMOS it out. Like, you know, but, um, yeah, it's just, it's not a good idea for anybody to be running around like yo I'd rather see and I'm against augmentation but I'd rather see a girl get a shorty get fucking fake tits li- ass and lips rather than take her gallbladder out like come on sis what are you doing taking your gallbladder out bitch like fucking go get some fucking titty ass and fucking lips and let this like you know what I mean treat yourself nice the old fashioned way, the new fashion way so, you know I guess taking your gallbladder out might be the new fashion way to treat yourself nice. They're damn sure trying to make your fucking son do it. I would definitely try a uh, a fast or alkaline food program if he's not willing to do it. Like, I'm not about talking youths into, you know what I mean? Going through the, the, the army training, if you will. I don't know. Lord knows I've fucking broken fucking at least 12 adults in the last 30 days, you know? wreck their souls like yo how did you do 40 days yo trust me but um no nah, man like, first of all has anybody talked to the youth does he want that happening i mean i'm sure he's under some discomfort so he'll say anything but like i'm sad, sure if you sat him down and said like uh, we could do the alkaline program too we don't need to do a fast but like the fast is like the for sure human reboot right so I would suggest the fast because he's right in that age too where I want to sebi in him out. But that's just that's personal and uh, you know selfish me, Uncle Sparky talking, right? But I mean, to show him the real thing is to show him these uh, paths and rules of life and ordinance of the body at this age is perfect because he doesn't even have to adhere to it for another 10, 15 years, hopefully. Like, I don't know how he got fucking uh, gallbladder full of stones at, like, 17, but, you know, he probably drinks a lot of pop and more specifically uh, iced tea. That's totally a lie. That's totally a lie. They also told the homegirl that I'm working with right now that she'll never get rid of her herpes and wait till the testimony comes when in about, mm, let's call it a year. Okay. Okay, so let's just do some math right now, some logical thinking, because let's just assume that neither one of us know what the fuck is going on with the gallbladder and we're what I call checking our math on the doctor, okay? So he, you mean to tell me that, and I'm going to go look this thing up too, but this is us coming in blind because I don't know what that disease is, uh, the malady that you just explained. Doesn't matter, but I know, that I know helps what it deal probably with. is. Uh, I know what it's linked to and I know what it probably is. Anyways, um, let's just assume... Ah, I'm going to start a new one because it's 30 seconds already. Let's just assume, actually, that uh, what he said was true, but let's check our math. So you're telling me that you have stones in the gallbladder, right? And that those stones have uh, somehow rendered the gallbladder useless? Yet, I know for a fact that I've had kidney stones. You're not living without your gallbladder, by the way. And they've passed through my fucking dick by, mind you, little penis hole. Fucking. A... And it fucking hurt like a bitch. But my kidney's still fucking working. Otherwise, I'd be dead. All the drugs I used to push through it and did until fucking about, uh, what? Last year, I was on, I relapsed. And fucking this year, I had to go on a 40-day fast to fix it, which is totally under control. You know? me my heart is uh but i've uh reversed hepatitis years ago though and not trying to do it under like a business which clearly the uh 
purple gods aren't going to like that I'm profiting off it, but they will like they're profiting off it because they've seen me fucking deal with the trials and tribulations of like fucking bringing Parkdale and Pelham Park drug addicts out of fucking the death walk for no little little to no gain no gain no gain just pure hurt so like they're probably just like oh my god we get to repay this guy as long as he like fixes up you know which i'm fixed up and it's making me like adhere to certain principles that i never would have before i literally got like four people waiting in line and we're like oh you're dealing with herpes can i get it and i was like no wait till i fucking either fall on my face or do this before i fucking take like nine people and have them pissed at me for not for taking their money and then fucking failing to deliver fucking uh treatment of the herpes virus but i mean yeah it's just a viral infection you know what i mean i know i know the formula bless your heart let me go look at this uh ailment and potentially add another uh, arsenal to my weapons. Wow, this weed must be very good. Potentially oh. add another weapon to my arsenal. Wish me the strength to go through. It's been hard, man, dealing with a lot of uh, these ailments. Then people who have, like... See, I used to only work with people who were up against the wall. Like, the doctor gave them... Eh, 30 days to live, 12 days to live, and that's when people fight the hardest. But these shishi, like, oh, I got my disease, but I don't want, I can I've live with it. Yo, they just don't get through the program, and like, that's gonna be a detriment to them, and more of a detriment to me, and that I can't cure these things or reverse them because people are gonna look at me like, yo, you got a bad track record. When up until I started like doing a fast and posting on the internet, I had the most impeccable track record known to man. Now, I bet at least about Mm, let's call it 60% of these people aren't going to reverse their ailments because of their uh, lack of determination and will, which is going to negatively impact my stats and make me look like a kook.